featuring the Glenn Miller Orchestra under the direction of Ray McKinley. Also starring Johnny Desmond, Patty Clark, and Mitch and Bill Haggis. Glenn Miller Time is brought to you tonight by Jell-O, the happy answer to what's for dessert, Jell-O. Hey, what's for dessert? What's for dessert? What's for dessert? Jell-O. J-E-L-L-O. Jell-O for dessert tonight. Look out. And one, do it. time once again coming to you live from studio 52 here in new york glad you could join us this labor day and we certainly hope you've enjoyed a pleasant holiday weekend now here's my good friend and co-host johnny desmond i want to thank you and uh, may i also add my welcome to our uh, bandwagon here this evening and uh, say ray you know Jersey Bounce had me kind of going with it there a little bit. Well, I guess even though it's the something old in our traditional Miller medley tonight, John, it still carries a lot of bounce to the ounce. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> now all we have to do is follow it up with something new, Bard and Blue. Well, I'm going to follow that one with a new song. Oh, you are? What are you going to do? Now, you watch it here. You brought a new kind of love to me. Aha, uh -huh, play on words. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> if a nightingale could sing like you, they'd sing much sweeter than they do. You brought a new kind of love to me. If the Sandman brought me dreams of you, I'd want to sleep my whole life through for you. 
brought a new kind of love to me. Now I know that I'm the slave, you're the queen. Still you can understand that underneath that all, you're a maid and I am only a man. I would to work and slave the whole day through if I could hurry on to you. You brought a new kind of love to me. I would work and slave the whole day through if you could hurry home. Great Hal Kemp band got a date with an angel. This commercial specially created for all babysitters listening in tonight. Hi, Georgie. Who are you? I'm your babysitter, Wendy Lou, and I've come over to play with you. Have you got a baseball bat? We'll have no need for that, because we're going to play the Jello pudding game. Okay, how do you play? Since you are Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, let's play by putting chocolate pudding in a pie. Or lemon pudding with meringue piled up high. Why, you could make any kind of pie in the sky when you play the jello pudding game. There's chocolate and mint, butterscotch, too, or vanilla for banana cream pie. Ooh! There's just one rule to this game. Be sure you catch the pudding with the jello name. Because only jello has the flavor that's great for putting more fun into every pie plate. Play the jello pudding game today. Don't wait! 
dark chocolate and vanilla in the new family size. As the weeks go by, we get more and more letters from you nice folks out there asking for more and more of the good old songs. So coming up now and featuring our four trombonists, Jiggs Wiggum, Bill Pape, Harry DeVito, sometimes known as Snub Pollard, <laughs> and Dave Ecker. And they're going to play fresh out of our new RCA Victor album, which will be released October the 1st, Peg of My Heart. <laughs> Now that your lips have 
watch some folks really enjoy themselves and hear about Kent cigarettes. There are times when you feel just right about everything. The kind of a day it is, the companionship you're enjoying, the very fact of being alive. And at times like these, it's so natural to enjoy a Kent because you'll feel better about smoking with a taste of Kent. You feel better about smoking with the taste of Kent, Kent, with the Micronite filter. Refines away a harsh flavor, refines away a hot taste. It makes the taste of a cigarette mild. And Kent has the right kind of mildness. Rich, pure tobacco taste from a blend of finest quality tobaccos drawing free and easy through Kent's famous Micronite filter. So naturally, Kent's the best for the flavor you like. Today, Kent, the cigarette that made the filter famous, is the favorite of millions all over America. You'll feel better about smoking with a taste of Kent. Say, Ray, uh, with you and the band playing all over the country, have you noticed how strange the people dance nowadays? Well, I'll admit they don't dance the way they used to years ago, John. Folks danced a box cut or a waltz. There was togetherness. Yeah, I know what you mean, but today it's more like <laughs> everyone for himself. Well, I guess you can say that again. What with the twist and the fish and the cha-cha today, you know, a guy takes a girl out to a dance and they walk up to the dance floor together and that's the last thing they see of each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the only consolation is to see a cha-cha dance the way it should be danced. Like the wonderful Bill and Midge Haggett and the Johnson Rag. Cha-cha, let out! Johnson Rag playing cha cha cha. Yeah, you sound like yes, it was. It sure was, John. How's that throw? Oh, oh, it's terrible, terrible. Yeah. But I never heard it played that way before. Well, a good tune can be done anyway. Now wait a minute. Thank you. Hold it, lads. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Show Johnny. We'll uh, we'll prove it to what you. What do you mean? Play uh, another tip. Johnson, no. Johnson Rag for uh, is a waltz. Waltz. Is a waltz. You got it. Here we go. And. I 
never thought you could do oh, it. We, we can do it another way. Yeah. Play it as a march, right? <laughs> I got a way that you can't do it. I bet you can't play in Dixieland. Oh, man, this thing was tailored for Dixieland. Yes, it was. Sure enough. Here. Kick, kick. Here comes the Johnson rag. Ha, ha. It never is a drag. Ho, ho. It really isn't a gag. He, he. It's called the Johnson rag. Jump, jump. Don't let the rhythm sag. Jeep, jeep. It's like a game of tag. Coop, coop. So now it's in the bag. Let's mix a little Dixie with the Johnson rag. You did at the end there. <laughs> well, you know, me and Louie, I was Johnson Rag Shot. I like oh, Louie. I like that too. Yeah, sure you enough. know, Ray, a wonderful thing about Dixieland is that it never seems to fade away, does it? Well, now, John, I guess the good sounds never do die. They just sort of keep echoing down throughout time. Well, you wouldn't want to be fooling me now. That I think that we're leading right down to the old Miller years, aren't we? Johnny, you just play that hunch because that's just exactly where we're heading to. Back to the Miller years. Back to the days of Easy Aces. Edgar Bergen, Charlie McCarthy. When Eddie Cantor, the fellow with the soft boiled eyes, said goodnight every Sunday with. I love to spend each Sunday with you. As friend of friend, I'm sorry you and, Ray, you remember the old catchphrase, want to buy a duck? <laughs> well, that always introduced a very funny guy named Joe Penner. Don't ever do that. When the footsie willow whispers to the catnip. <laughs> to the catnip. <laughs> to the catnip. And if Fibber, McGee, and Molly weren't having trouble with that closet of theirs full of junk, Fibber was getting into some other kind of trouble. For the final concert of the season, the Wistful Business Businessman's Band has selected for its opening number an original McGee arrangement of the Pizzicata Polka. I'm sure that when you hear the fresh lilt of this favorite old selection... Oh, go on and play! <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> You know, Ray, those were just a few of some of the great sounds of the Miller years. You're right, John, and now here's you, Johnny Desmond, with another sound of that era, Indian Summer. Summer time was 
watch over some heart that was broken by a word that somebody That's why I say farewell to you in the Well, the Indian summer now is here, so listen, my children, and you shall hear about a thousand and one good ways to cool those on these muggy days. Why, the secret, friends, is simple and quick. A jello salad kind of does the trick. Just look at this lemon jello ring. Why, you can make it with almost anything. Vegetables, fruit, whatever you wish. Walnuts, cheese, even tuna fish. So whenever your wild Indians say, what's for dessert or salad today? Why, well, make a jello. Heap big treat in Indian summer. It can't be beat. A J-E-L-L. Glenn Miller time has been brought to you tonight by... Jello, another fine product of General Foods. Hey, hey, John, that one again. Well, I, got a, I got a sore throat there at the end. You catch it for me. Well, Ray, the uh, small hand is on the ten and the uh, big hand's on the six. You know what that means? I guess it means it's time for us to end the song, but we hope the melodies sort of linger on. So... Until next week, Glenn Miller time will be coming to you at that time live from Studio 50 here in New York. Until then, from Patty Clark, Johnny Desmond, and good friend Ray McKinley, and all the lads in the band, good night. Stay happy. <laughs> is being recorded for viewing by our military forces overseas. Johnny Olson speaking for Glenn Miller Time. Good night. Be sure to see the delightful comedy show Angel Wednesday over most of these same stations.